my name is Living the Poop, and welcome back to another auto vlog. So many of y'all know that recently I got new tires on the car, and I haven't done another uh, another G-force test since I've gotten the new tires. So that's what we're going to be going over and doing. Now, kind of a quick note about the tires that I do have on here. They are Treadwear 340, which is actually the same Treadwear number as the old tires that, I've, that I had. However, uh, the Treadwear number is only really indicative of the tire's grip uh, within that brand. So Treadwear 340 Atrezzo, which is what the old tires were, you know, could be only as grippy as Treadwear 600 Bridgestone. So, you know, these Treadwear 340 Bridgestones could be more grippy than the Treadwear 340 Atrezzos. Now, they are the same width in size and everything, 205-45-ZR16, in case anyone is wondering. So that's, uh, you know, the size didn't change. Uh, you know, I didn't want to uh, possibly run into any clearance issues, although they're only, uh, you know, seven inch wide tires. And I believe E30s, the maximum you can go to is about nine inches. So I probably could have gotten, uh, you know, I probably could have gotten 215s, but, you know, I didn't want to run into any issues and, you know, order the tires and then take them to the tire guy to have them installed and then the tire guy just go well nope those aren't gonna fit buddy because that would have been super fun and then i would have had to ship back tires which are massive and i'm sure cost an ass load and a half to ship okay so we're back out here in the same parking lot on the same asphalt doing the same test so we're just gonna see about how much these tires can handle they feel pretty grippy Okay, getting a little bit of tire squeal there. I'll have to see what that is. That's probably about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 Gs, somewhere around there. It doesn't feel like it really changed all that much. There we go. Okay, got a little bit more of a squeal there. But yeah, also somebody came out here and, uh, and drove a sweet line. So we're gonna do some of that because it looks like, I don't know, if I had to guess, I'd say somebody just came out here, hooned around for a little bit and laid down some skid marks as you can see right here, which is pretty cool in my opinion because it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little track here and I like it, it's fun. I really wish that I had a better steering rack or something. Like I said, I'm pretty sure somebody came out here and just drifted around because it is just, you know, full, it's just full blown tire skids the whole way around. There we go, okay, here we go. Oh, getting a little skiddy here. Oh, I love this. I wish I wish there was autocross or something in Central Texas. These guys over here are just like, what the fuck is this jackass doing? <laughs> there we go. I think that's about the longest straight we have in this thing. And then we come over here. We've got a little little chicane do, and then. And then you can see it's still just like nothing but tread marks going all the way back to the start over here, which is <laughs> makes me think that it was a uh, like a track that somebody had just kind of made for themselves. So I want to do it just one more time, and because uh, it's just a lot of fun, really. Back at the start here, let's let's give it a good launch. Okay, there we go and breaking around the first corner there. It's just kind of, there's not really like an apex or anything, but you can kind of, you can kind of guess where the track was supposed to be. Swinging wide for this one, which I guess, you know, there's not really any specific, uh, you know, line, but you, you can kind of tell by the, uh, by the skid marks. There we go, coming over here past the workers again. Oh yes, so much fun. And then back over into the little chicane poo right here. All right, so yeah, I mean, that, that pretty much sums up what I wanted to do for this video. I just wanted to show you all this little track that I found that somebody made out here. Like I said, I think somebody just came out here, did some drifts, hooned around a little bit, and ended up making a, a pretty fun little course. And also I wanted to test the uh, the grip of the new tires. These are indeed 
Bridgestone GeForce Comp 2s, uh, 20545 ZR16 size. So you can kind of draw your own conclusions from that, what you think about these tires. Personally, I think they're pretty damn good. Whenever I first got them installed, there's this one corner that I always try to take pretty fast. Yeah, there's this one corner that I always try to take pretty fast near my apartment. And uh, whenever I first went into it, after I got the new tires, it felt like I had a tighter steering rack or something. I mean, it just it just dove into the corner a lot more than it did with those shitty old Atrezzos. So yeah, hopefully someday I'll be getting a, uh, a Z3 steering rack because those are almost twice as quick as the steering rack on the E30. Because these, these stock steering racks are four turns from lock to lock. Whereas the, uh, where the Z3 rack, I believe, is 2.7 turns lock to lock, which is, a, you know, almost, well, I guess, I guess really it's more like a quarter and something, you know, a quarter and some change difference. But still, either way, I really want that mod. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. My name is Lovey the Poop. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, especially if you have some insight on the tires and all that shit. But anyways, I will see all of you in the next episode. Goodbye.